What is up, dudes? It's me, Tornados Gaming Two Three Four here. Um, <clears throat> I have never done something for a very long time, and it's finally here. You can definitely tell what I'm looking at, at my because I'm looking at something. Yeah, it's another damaged phone, but this one's a little bit different. The phone still works. Yeah. Which is kind of that kind of hurts me, just a little bit. So, so today guys, we're going to do a dirt break test on this bad boy and see will the phone survive my dirt break test or not. And this is a ZTE smartphone, which I don't, I don't know that I've never done a ZTE phone before. But but today we're going to go ahead and go ahead and get started on dirt break test. Will this phone survive my dirt break test or not? Anyways, let's get started. So it looks like, guys, first off, we're gonna go ahead and start with the good old scratch test. So I have something that I don't think I never, uh, I mean, I don't think I never, I think I never done this maybe before. So, um, yeah. So this is my first time using these things, but it kind of moves up just like that. <laughs> the perfect diamond, perfect diamond. A B town that never happened. I'm just gonna yunk. So then we have, I think we have nine, so I'm gonna do. So today we're gonna start the two-boy test, which is the low skill or harness picks, which is the scratch test. So let's see what kind of glass it is gonna be using. Is it gonna be Google Glass, or is it gonna be calling it something else? But, anyways, let's go ahead and find out. And there goes noise in the background, which is great. Um, no, hold up. Alright, there we go. That was actually not quite difficult, so then we'll let's start the scratch test. So the front phone is probably using probably Google Glass, which is, which is quite a bit a harder material than the other phones that I've tested. Okay. So, and we're moving up the level. If you guys have remembered this dirt break test, let me know in the comments below. So, yeah. So, let's see. I think my guess will probably scratch a little six. I'm putting a lot of pressure on these guys. I'm not even joking. Ooh, you can hear her that. That shiny noise, that doesn't sound that good. And there's the level 7. Alright, so let's see how well it did. So I left the other marks so that I can see. Let me go ahead and wipe this off. And yes, so we definitely see some scratches at level 6, where it deeper grooves at level 7. That's pretty normal for smartphones. Pretty normal. Lots of ones. That's a pretty, pretty good glass, though. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Alright, so let's go ahead and start these scratch tests. So, so it looks like using core and good glass, which is pretty good. But overall, the phone still works, still fully functional. So fun to use, but it won't be far from long though. So anyways, let's go ahead and start the scratch test. So let's check out the size. So the size are the, the phone itself is going to be made from, made from plastic, which is quite a bit of worst materials ever on the smartphone. The avoid bonds are also made from plastic. I think it'll hold up me. Use me a little bit for you guys. As you can see, it's shaving. I can see some big chunks coming off of it, which is kind of kind of crazy. So wow, pretty beat up on the top. So we check at the bottom. For we have a portless, bottomless foam part, as you can see, but it's still made from plastic.
Yep. Bottom is still made from plastic. If we can check the other side of the phone, we have another thing on the side. But we also have a micro USB on the side. Was it a, a very strange material? Because was before, before. I don't think I've never done a jury play test of phone that has a, 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 a micro SD card on that side of the phone itself. Yep, pretty beat up around the edges. A bunch of, uh, bunch of tusks coming out of the back. In top of the phone, we have a good old power button, which is made from plastic. And we also have a 3.5mm headphone jack, which is definitely awesome. Which is our good old modern headphone jack, which is pretty awesome. Love it. Absolutely love it. Even phone still works. Beautiful. And here comes the back of the phone. So the back of the phone is made from different material. It's like the material that I have never heard before. Take a, take a listen. Yeah, a rough design smartphone. So, wow. Uh, so, that's pretty insane. So, so I think I remember the Jerry Boy test I first saw watching uh, Jerry Rick Everything. Was I remember watching Zach a long, long time ago, probably 2016. So, but, but at that time, that was when I was watching his Jerry Boy test. For extremely long time. But until then, that was when that was when I decided to do a another long story to tell. Which is quite a bit of a long time. But including other smartphones. Even other smartphone that I did the Jibber test on, which is quite a bit insane smartphone he did the test on. And if you guys know what this name is, let me know, let me know in the comments below. I'm talking about a different, I'm talking about a YouTube channel. I'm not talking about PewDiePie. It's a name that you're probably not going to notice. So you guys just pause the video and tell me what it said. So pause the video and tell me what it says and let me know in the comments below. If you get this name right, I will go ahead hard to comment and pin it. So let's go ahead and get back to the jury test. Anyways. The the single five megapixel camera is protected by a rear glass and it's a digital camera text on top with imprint inside the glass. And the flash of juice is also made from plastic, which is which is fine and normal. And also the speaker grill as you may be from that scene material as the other phones I have. Yeah, the phone does me look a little beat up a little bit. And also ZT will look like it's in the print inside the inside of rubber. But it won't have a problem of peeling off or discharging on its own. So that that that's so that's definitely a plus. So now let's go ahead and move on to another test. Before we do that, we have a single 2 megapixel camera input inside the glass, which is fine. The earpiece itself has a metal mesh on top of it. But you don't have to worry about getting this slot color off on its own. So, and also we have the capacitive buttons. With there are input into the glass to not worry about you being wrapped off, which is good, obviously. New phone still works, beautiful. Now it's time to move on to the flame test. So I think the screen of this one is probably using a 5.5 inch and then a IPS LCD. So aim about like me like maybe about fifteen seconds or twenty seconds, you might see the display going black, which is kind of normal for a normal smartphone. Which I don't think I've never heard done a jury test before, 
So yeah. So the screen goes black every about fifteen seconds before the screen goes haywire. And the screen turns like a like a little a bubbly top of it. Which is a not a good not a good idea. The, so I highly recommend you should not do that to your own phone. It does burn off the oil for the coating under the glass. So do not do not do this to your own phone, kids. I'm a professional phone burner. And yep, and now guys it's time to move on to another test which will be a little bit screen is the bend test. So so it turns out the phone is still fully functional and it's right Android 6.0.1 out of the box. So will this phone survive? So yeah. This is that first time I ever divert to the ZTE phone, I think. From a different company right here. Made by I think it's a service company. I don't know. So I don't know how many phones did survive my jury test. But let's see, will this phone survive my jury test or not? So for, so before I bend the front, let's see will the phone survive my jury test or not. Surprisingly, the phone did pretty good. It even did a weird ripple in, underneath the side of the glass, which is interesting. Never have never seen that smartphone before. So before we bend in the front, though, this is a little bit of a different story. But we see no damage, and we see a screen separation on the glass. But overall, the phone is still totally functional, and this thing passes my Drew Bray test. And before I bend in the front, though, the phone decided to restart, which is kind of interesting. Never seen that for a smartphone before. So, so the phone decided to restart, but, but the phone itself is not bent or deformed or nothing like that. So it looks like the phone itself is still fully functional. And it looks like, guys, this phone, guys, passes my drip rate test. So, wow, so it did pretty good. I expect it's going to be like a... Well, I, I expect this phone's going to be like a total shredder. But it turns out it still survived. Which is quite a bit amazing. I thought I thought this phone's going to turn out like an like LC broken before. But it turns out the phone's tried a bend test. Just fine. With no damage, no nothing. So, um, yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, go ahead and, um, uh, drop a like. Plus, make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel. So, um, yeah. Anyways, guys, peace out.